Welcome back to this next video in this Angular 2 series. In the last video we left when we just hit our component at the point where we could click on this heading where our name is displayed and added it with two weight binding. Now for this video I first promised you multiple components and secondly I want to make this contact a little more interesting because in a real application you wouldn't have just one contact, right? So we will create an array of contacts and then we will loop through a list where we will be able to click on a single contact and see his information. So let's get into this. Now I will start by just changing this contact uh, property here to an array. And then I will... Mm, bracket. Then I will just restructure this and we will need find, uh, several contacts which I will just insert really quick. Okay, so I got my contacts over here and now to be able to loop through it I will first create an unordered list here at the top with a list item um, inside it. And I will just restructure this really quick. Okay, fine. Oops. Fine. This is my list item here. And now I'm basically attaching everything I had for this heading here to this list item. So let's just indent this. Maybe push this to a new line. And I will get rid of this heading here. Now obviously this won't display anything as of yet because uh, we're not looping through anything. And we'll change this by adding a new directive, a new structural directive like the ngif. We also got the ng4 directive. So we also have a star at the beginning because it is a structural directive. And then we type ng4 equals and now we will loop through all our contacts by using the following syntax, which says contact of contacts. Now this hashtag contact here um, creates a local variable. This is Angular 2 syntax and maps this variable to the current contact we're looping through. So now we get this and if we save this, we see that it isn't displaying as of now and this is because this bottom part here is creating errors as it's still referring to a contact which is not available down here because the contact variable is this one and this is only a local variable available within this loop and therefore not at the bottom here. So now we got our list and to be able to see the detail information again I will make some changes here I will replace the show detail property um, with the selected contact property. I will also pass the selected contact here in the onSelect method. I therefore have to add it here as an argument and then I will map it to this selected contact. And this selected contact property now is available. Um, or outside of our loop because it's a property of the component. Selected contact. Let's see, this should work now. Yeah, almost. It doesn't display the phone number and email and this is because this check here won't work anymore. It will always return false because show detail doesn't exist anymore. So I'll just get rid of it. And if we save this, now it works. And as you can see, we can again edit stuff. Okay, cool. So that is the ng4 directive. Now the second part of this video is that we will um, split this master detail view up into two separate components. I therefore will create a subfolder, which I will call contacts because all contact related stuff will go there. And I will create a new file, which I will call contact list. Dot t, uh, dot component dot ts. And in here we first have to import component from 
angular to core. We then got our component selector, like this. And be sure to remember the curly braces. And below it, we have our class export contact list component. Let's export class contact list component. Okay, now we get this. And in this list here, I will copy the list. Easy to rem remember, I guess. And we will copy it to our template configuration here. Add the back ticks again and paste it inside here. Just fix the indentation. And now I got my template here. And I will also need a selector here to be able to embed this component in other components or in HTML in general. So that selector will be contact list. I can then use the selector in the app component by writing contact list, but this won't display it as of yet because app component has no chance of knowing of contact list. It just recognizes that this is an HTML tag it doesn't know. So as we specified for our index HTML in the boot TS that we have our app component, we have to specify in our app component that we have our contact list component. And we do this by adding the directives configuration, which basically says, hey, here come some custom made directives you have to know. And remember, components are directives, just with a few component or a template attached to it. And I will add it by just adding the contact list component here. And recognize that um, in, in PHP Storm, the import statement got automatically added. So if I save this, now to be able to display it, I also have to copy all this stuff here because it belongs to the contact list. Copy it here, save it. And now let me just comment out this stuff here again so we don't get errors from it. Save it. And now we got our list here. Now let's create our detail view or a detail component by adding a file contact.component.ts and to make it easier I just oops I just copy everything from this file get rid of the stuff I don't need and the selector will just be contact and we can already add it as a directive to our contact list because this will be the place where we will embed it directives contact oh and i need to rename it here then i will find it with my autocomplete here contact component again importing automatically done by php storm for me and now I added this component. Now I will fetch all of the detail code here from our app component. So that all that is left there is just our contact list tag and add it to the template here. Reindent, save and this won't work because we haven't got the selected contact um, property here and in general. The question is how do we send the contact which we select in this component to our contact component. And we do this by creating a custom directive or a custom data binding so to say. And we will be able to bind to a custom property in a custom component. So lots of customization going on here. So we do this by going to our contact component creating a public property, naming, naming it contact again, which just is an empty object. And then we have, and this is very important, we have to add some configuration to our selector here, uh, our decorator here, which is the inputs configuration, 
which takes an array and the inputs configuration tells our component or tells Angular 2 that this component will be able to receive data which is bound to the properties we define here in quotation marks and which matches the name of our public property down here. So we can now add this below our unordered list, add a contact tag and bind to it by using squared brackets because data is going to flow inside our component. Bind the selected contact here so that we send our selected contact to our contact component. And here we will have to replace selected contact by just using contact. Save it. And now if you click on stuff here, you will see it works. Now one thing that doesn't work as of now is the styling. And this has two reasons. One is the check here doesn't work because show detail does not exist anymore as a property. So I will just replace it by checking if our selected contact equals the contact of the current iteration. And additionally, I need to you, uh, copy this styles configuration to our contact list here, because this is where we need the styling. And now you will see it again works. So in this video, we really covered a lot. We had our custom components where we had our data binding so we could send data from one component to the other. And we had the ng4 directive. So as of now, you already know a lot of things which are really the core of creating Angular 2 applications. And I hope you're really enjoying it the same way I do. In the next video, I will show you how we use services to have a more elegant way of fetching data instead of just having a fixed property with our array of contacts in our contact list component. And this will provide you with the means of generally using service to provide data or to provide yeah, general services to all possible places and components inside your app. So we'll see you there. Have a nice day. Bye.